Hi, I'm Steve Lulich with Lulich and Attorneys, and this is the Lulich Corner. And as part of real estate transactions, most contracts have in it uh, a period to do inspections. And we have with us Natalie Jenkins, and she's with Carpe Diem Inspections. So before we get started on asking you a bunch of questions, <laughs> I have one question. So what does Carpe Diem Inspections mean? Uh, so Carpe Diem is, uh, is Latin for cease the day. So um, there is a, a bit of a sad story behind it, but basically at a point in my life, I decided that I needed to put a foot forward and seize the day. Uh, when I decided to come up with this business, I thought this made a lot of sense. A lot of people are, are taking their choices and, and seizing the day by purchasing their home. So Carpe Diem inspection, seize so, the day so in your new home. So that's how you got involved. How I got involved, well, that's a long, not a long story. Um, I have a lot of construction background. Um, I come from a family owned construction business and I also worked in various construction fields, roofing, plumbing, septic and whatnot. And um, how I got into this though, was I was trying to get my husband out of the car business. Uh, he's working crazy hours and missing out on a lot of time and I wanted him to do something that could get him outdoors, labor and So you money. started the business. So I did, yes. And, I decided and, I'm taking and, it. And so is it is it a wholly owned business by a female? Yep, this is 100% woman and op owned and operated. How nice, that's yep. very refreshing. And well, and that's what I saw was that it was a very small percentage of women that are in this industry. So I wanted to take that unique opportunity. So did you have to go get licenses? Yes. Yeah, so to become a home inspector in the state of Florida, you do have to take a 120 hour uh, pre-licensing certification course. And then to operate as an inspector, you have to have a state license and general liability coverage. Oh, well, that's a few different things. So, mm -hmm. so what do you inspect? <laughs> Homes. <laughs> well, a, so, a home, um, many homes and... Uh, single family homes, condos, uh, manufactured homes, townhouses, you know, uh, dwellings. They can do multifamily units as well. And you give a report on what you've inspected. Yes, yes. Okay, and so everybody who retains your services gets a report. Absolutely. And so what kind of things do you inspect? What kind, What's your report say? So we go through... Um, all aspects of the home. You're looking at the exterior, the walls, the uh, soffits, the roofing uh, coverings. You're also looking on the interior, the floors, the ceilings, the cabinetry, the countertops, appliances. Then you're gonna you're looking at your four main uh, components: roof, which is included in exterior, plumbing, electrical, and HVAC, which is your air conditioner and your air handler. Uh, we, I do tests on the air handler to make sure that, and uh, air conditioning to make sure that's operating properly. I am climbing through the roof, making sure that there's no penetrations or any type of pest intrusion or water intrusion, uh, that the insulation is in good condition, that the HVAC uh, ventilation system is working properly. Uh, so you do you do all this yourself? I do, yep. Wow, do you have any help? Currently, no, no. I've I've just gone off on my own this year, but the the goal is to be a multi inspector business in the next coming years. Very nice. So. Okay, so that's interesting. So, um, you know, they have an expression in 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 uh, real estate law, and it's let the buyer beware. Mm -hmm. So, are 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 you saying that you help the buyer be more comfortable with what they're buying? I give them as much knowledge as possible to understand the purchase that they're making. When you're going into an open house or walking in, uh, you've got rose-colored glasses on. It's it's everything's very exciting, but nobody's going in and testing all of the waters or walking through the or uh, testing all the sinks or walking through the attic or making sure that yes, the AC feels cool, but is it feeling cool on its own or is it being prompted to operate that way because of being supercharged? Those are the things that I go into deep dives to discover that they're operating properly and everything's safe. They also need to know that they're going into a safe environment. So are there certain standards that you follow in, in making these opinions? Yes, so I am a member of two large organizations um, that I follow their standards of practice. One is InterNACHI, which is the International um, 
Association of Certified Home Inspectors. So with InterNACHI, I'm what's called a CPI, which is a Certified Professional Inspector, which I have to uphold to certain standards and pass tests. And then with FABI, I'm a Registered Professional Inspector, which means I've done over 250 inspections. I have, um, the, and then they've also interviewed and, and checked out reports to make sure that I'm living up to their standards, so. Okay, so here's an off the wall question. What happens if you miss something? Well, I try not to let that happen, but in the case that I do, I do carry error and emissions um, for my general liability, which is an insurance coverage that covers those okay. type of Only issues. Only an attorney would ask you a question like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is, is the, how, how long does it take to do an inspection? It does depend on the size of the home. A standard inspection typically takes about two hours. Um, a condo in like the, the villages takes me about an hour and a half. A uh, 3,000 plus square foot home, you're looking at three plus hours. I'm very, very thorough and detailed, so I'm not just running around and doing a little here and there. I'm trying to test every window and every outlet that I can. Do you go on the roof? I do. Wow. Now, I do not do two-story roofs. Um, I have a drone for that, so I do okay. have additional technology, and I choose not to climb on tile roofs because of the possible liability of breakage. Sure. But again, I have a very sophisticated drone that does most of the work How for me. How nice. Modern technology. That's yeah. great. And the, the two-story thing, I know that there's some inspectors out there, but you know, I'm a mom, so I got to, you know, make sure I get home to my kids every day. <laughs> so after in my next purchase uh, and I hire you, you do an inspection. When you get done with the inspection, are you going to tell me whether I should buy the home? I'm never going to give you that opinion. Okay. That is outside of our standards. What we're going, what I do is I give you the basis of what is uh, needing to be repaired. That it could be a safety concern. Uh, what to budget for in the future, uh, because this way you'll have an idea of whether this purchase works for your budget, not only now but in the near future. Um, and also whether you want to take on all of these tasks. This is also a way to be able to use as a negotiating tactic with the seller as well. So you're my multifaceted construction consultant. Absolutely. See, that new, sounds a new great. Logo for I you. know we're gonna we got a new title. <laughs> okay, and so uh, what's the most satisfying part of your job? I mean, I, I, I love this job in its entirety. Uh, I wish I had discovered this years ago, but I guess when I really know that I found something pretty substantial that if they hadn't had me go into the home, like a previous fire hazard that never got recorded, or uh, a roof or a structure that was added to a home without a permit, you know, people think that they can slap things together and it looks good on the exterior, but there's so many things that can go wrong with your just Joe Smo, Joe Mo, side of the road kind of handyman. Yeah. Yeah. So Got to do it right. Right. And you find out if it's not done right. I do my best. There you go. That's <laughs> great. And so uh, if someone would want to reach you, how do they get in touch with you? How do they find out the list of your services? Okay. So uh, you can always give me a call directly. My number is 772-226-0828. I do have a wonderful website. It is uh, www.carpediminspects.com. You can also email me at info at carpediminspects.com. I always answer the phone. I always answer emails. That's one of the great sides of what I bring to this company is my background in office management and multi-million dollar um, construction businesses. So I know how to do the organization and response. Okay, so here's a crazy question because most people want to know the price, okay? And, and you know, a lot of times they don't get the price. And, and so how do you come up with the price before you even inspect? Do you have a... a so I do have a, 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 a prices per services list. Um, I price per square footage because the larger the home, the more, you know, encompassing it can be. Um, I'm not, I'm, I don't lowball because my quality of work speaks for itself. So if somebody calls you up just based upon what a, um, a Google map review of the house and some information from them, you're able to give them a what, rough estimate? I, most of the time what I do is I, I seek out and I check out on the property appraiser and I put together a true, um, per square footage, um, price per square foot 
uh, due to adding on the garage area uh, because most of listings only mention under air, but the garages need to be inspected and they've got multiple you know, components in that as well. And then there's other services that I will also inquire about. Depending upon the age of the home, do they need a four point inspection? Do they need a wind mitigation? Those are for your insurance. And then I go on to further so there information are other on services there's other in services mm -hmm. to a buy sell type thing. Yes, so there's your full inspection, there's your insurance inspections, there's ancillary inspections. So septic and WDO, I do offer via using a subcontractor. Um, I do perform pool inspections, and I'm just about to start rolling out um, mold and air quality testing. Nice. Okay, and so. Uh, if someone enters into a contract, uh, they might need to have their ins house inspected, um, or if it's some of these other issues, um, uh, is there any other time that, that, as an attorney, I look at things, but I've got to also think there's a marketing aspect, okay, to selling your home. Mm -hmm. And so if I wanted to sell my home, uh, should I wait until the buyer does an inspection? Honestly, one of the, the better assets you would have would be to inquire about a pre-listing inspection. A pre-listing inspection is a full inspection. It would be the same thing that I would provide for a buyer. However, this is something you would have in hand to either get ahead of it before you decide to list. Um, let's say you didn't realize that your, your water heater was on the end of its life expectancy. You could have that replaced. Or you didn't have a TPR valve you know, added to it. These are things that... What I always say, the less dings on your report, the more appealing it's gonna look for the buyer. So if you can take care of that prior to your listing or even use that as your bargaining chip, yeah, this is I've what we've had inspected. some of the realtors refer to this as the gold standard of listings. Right. When you have a pre-inspection and you also have a, a title insurance report done uh, right. prior to putting it on the market. Yeah, I mean, it really, with this market, since it seems to be settling back down into not being gone in the day, having a pre-listing inspection would be vital to uh, selling your house faster. And now I understand they have these uh, companies that uh, might call you up and say, you know, uh, we can uh, sell you insurance that if your refrigerator or your air conditioner or uh, even your appliances uh, meet their demise, uh, that you're covered and there's money there to take care of a new one. So I guess if I'm going to make a wise move and think about that insurance, I should call your company, okay, and find out what state of a, uh, my, my appliances and, and my equipment is in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> well, uh, Natalie, thank you very much for coming down today. And what, what was your phone number again? 772-226-0828. Thank you, folks.